This is why Tubnet is underrated. Let's start off with giving a little bit of information about Tubnet. First off, you should know who owns Tubnet. If you don't understand where the tub comes from, basically it's plain and obvious, it's Tubbo. Tubbo owns Tubnet, and it's actually his passion project. He's always wanted to have a server. He's explained it in a video that was made over a month or two ago from this video now being made. But let's just explain this. Tubnet is owned by Tubbo a content creator that is both on YouTube and Twitch, with a, co a combination of equivalent of 10 million followers on both platforms combined. Now, Tubnet has very four unique game modes, including a sub game modes that are actually in their fun fair, which is actually technically a good concept for a server that is supposed to have like more than a hundred people on it, but they don't. Usually they have equivalent from a small staggering of 12 active people to maybe 50 on a daily basis, but it's still pretty good. Of course, the server does not get a lot of advertising unless it's by Tubbo himself or those little events that has other content creators. But other than that, he has four unique game modes that are basically very fun. Right now at this moment of recording, one game mode cannot be accessed and that is Crystal Rush. But Crystal Rush as described is basically your description of Bed Wars but in 1.9 combat. Of course it's very fun if you get to play it because at the end of the day if you enjoy Bed Wars but just want that little PvP in 1.9 it's pretty good. But except for the parts is that of course it's of just breaking the bed instantly you have to mine the crystal in general. But hey, it's still pretty fun. The game is pretty amazing at the end of the day. It's got some new concepts and everything that you can use, including certain abilities that you wouldn't have in regular Bed War. Of course, their second game that technically I don't think it gets a lot of love at all is Light Strike. And if you like basically CSGO, this is your game, to be honest. If you want Minecraft version of because to be honest, it's like it takes the concept of CSGO, makes it Minecraft style, gives a couple of cool introductions like a pufferfish sword and a poison arrow that you would get from a bow, I think it is. I can't remember exactly. I played it a couple of weeks ago, but it's still pretty fun at the end. It's very fun, it's it's very intriguing, and to be honest, I would say it's pretty good. And then the third game mode at the end of the day is Battle Royale. One of the most popular game modes, but not the game mode that keeps bringing people back in. Because Battle Royale is basically your regular survival games with some twists, of course. There is loot chests that are ranked by certain tiers. There's tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4. I think there might be a tier 5, but I don't know. But tier 4, you already get diamonds. If tier 5 exists... I hope it has maybe more than a couple diamonds or a diamond sword or enchanted books. I would love that, of course. But other than Battle Royale, Battle Royale has a like cool concept, basically. It takes it from your Battle Royale games that you have like on Fortnite, of course, Call of Duty, and several other game modes that have Battle Royale. It takes it where you're just jumping out of the sky instead of starting in the middle. It used to have it where you, you would start in the middle, like a regular survival games, but of course they changed that to fit the aesthetic of the new Battle Royale system that they technically have in other games, of course. At the end of the day, it's probably one of the game modes that basically brings some people in, but not the most. But it's still pretty fun. It's of course Battle Royale with a little bit of Minecraft style of Fortnite and other game modes and style. Then the last game mode that technically I think has been popularizing the server a little bit more, and I think in general might actually keep the server going a little bit further because with more game modes like this, it should at the end of the day. So let's put a drum roll, please. For the one and only game that basically is bringing people coming into Tubnet, I introduce you, Knockout. The one game that is basically like no other on this server. It's basically Super Smash Bros. You get five lives. Now there's other servers that technically do it a little bit better or better at basically keep it to the, the regular stick of Super Smash Bros. And that would be Cytunex, where basically their main whole entire concept is to keep it with um, inspired of other games, including having Mario Party, but in Minecraft and call it a Minecraft Party, including also their Super Smash Bros. where you technically have some abilities that would be close to Super Smash Bros but at the end of the day, it's still the same. They're both the same concept. They take inspiration from Super Smash Bros. Now, of course, uh, the thing is you can build and they also have one thing that's different from other versions, I would say, is that the island keeps moving and the map keeps moving. You can never expect to be in one place for more than maybe a minute. If you're there for more than a minute, you're falling to your doom. At the end of the day, I would say it's pretty much a good game move. Now, 
at the end of the day, there's also several things that change with it, of course, that you get also crashing buses, crashing a train that comes right through, like several little things that will just dramatically change the battlefield as well as just switching around, including their abilities as well. Now, other than giving you the information of what Tubnet has and everything, there is also a thing called Funfair. At this point, when the server is not having their most frequent amount of people on the server, the fun fair comes into a place where you can just do a dropper style, where they call it apple dropper. And basically, you're just doing dropper normally, or you're just doing a little shooting game with a water pistol to shoot down the ducks. There's several little things, of course. But other than that, the reason why this video is called Tubnet is Underrated is because at the end of the day, not a lot of people realize Tubnet's pretty fun actually if you get the chance to play on the server with a bunch of friends or like how i did it one day on a stream because to be honest there is only allowed to have four people in a party if you do not want to buy a rank i don't even know if the upper ranks can push you into having more people in a party because most games only have up to 16 or 8 players at the end of the day but at the end of the day i would still say that these are still pretty much fun games and if you want to come on the server and just play it it's pretty much good but the reason why i'm saying tubnet is underrated is because people keep avoiding servers like tubnet that is created either by a content creator or created to basically fight something like hypixel or they do not have the backbone like mcc island which has technically been supported by a lot of content creators because technically every month there's a championship except for sometimes the month of december and january or sometimes when they take a break but at the end of the day this is supported by content creators that keep coming to it the reason why i say tubnet is underrated is because i think people still are willing to play more 1.8 games than 1.19 or 1.20 and probably in the future if they ever change combat a little bit more whatever combat upgrades they give because every couple updates you already hear of a small little change to the combat right but the thing why i'm saying tubnet's underrated is because people see game modes like crystal rush and they think instantly it's just a copycat of bed war and you would probably say maybe that's the reason why they just don't want to play on tubnet but no that's not also the reason why too because the other reason why is because there's also a lack of games and why would you go on a server that has a lack of games when you could just go on hypixel but still tubnet that's taking the chance in their games to technically update them, make them a little bit more unique, and give them their own finesse, right? So what? You got Crystal Rush that basically is a copycat of Bed Wars. It's still their own. At this time, it's not working because I think it's not as popular enough to have a server for it, so maybe that's why. Light Strike still has a server for it, and it's still pretty fun at the end of the day, and I would say that there's not really that many game modes that are like it, except for the part that on Hypixel, you could basically play Cops and Robbers, and it's almost like the same thing at the end of the day, and at the end of the day, I would say, eh, they still have guns. These are just regular weapons, and at the end of the day, Hypixel's gotta get rid of those guns because of the new rule that Minecraft added where no guns are supported on servers. And then the other thing, of course, Battle Royale is just your normal survival game that everyone's been used to for years and years since the dawn of Minecraft back in 2013 when it became popular. But at the end of the day, I would still say this is a server that you gotta try out. Just don't judge it. It's still a server that could still prove itself in the future. And even if it doesn't get basically advertisement from Tubbo or even from the Tubnet Twitter account, it still can prove itself in the future. Even if it's in 1.19 or 1.20 in the future or other updates, it could still prove itself even with the newer combat. And because people haven't been going to the server that much or basically at playing it, it's basically Tubnet has cost Tubbo a million dollars, including several factors that caused him to have problems over and over and over. Now, I know the server is not big to have a lot of games, but you know, with a server that is this small and still having fun games, it still shows potential even though it's owned by a bigger content creator. Here's the thing I'll bring it up. Tubnet will be underrated until it brings up new games. Because right now, their most fun game they have that a lot of people keep coming back for is still Knockout or better yet, Battle Royale. And at this point, they gotta either bring more new games or update older games to keep up with making people still want to play on the server. At the end of the day, it should be kept in mind that one day, Tubnet could probably take on one of the biggest servers out there. I do hope that he starts advertising more because I do know that Tubbo does consider this as his passion project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really worked on this video as hard as I possibly can. I know it's not 
good work or anything. I even tried my best to make it as best as possible. I am learning how to edit videos every day by day as I go on. And I hopefully eventually I can edit a video that is basically doesn't take me two and a half weeks to edit or better yet, just a video that can technically even reach a bunch of people with a message or something that is fun or creative at the end of the day. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Until then, until the next video comes out, see you guys then. Bye.